Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, no matter what, we have to sell that medal. Or else we can't go have our fancy celebration. So, we're going to have to do that. But for tonight, it's time to study. Wait, where's this? Oh, I found it. <laughs> for some reason, I cannot find the spot to press the X button. It's kind of finicky. But yeah, despite it being vacation, we still want to, you know, do good in school. So it's study time. Can I talk? The other day I saw an... So... I didn't mean to distract you. I'll try to stay quiet. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> I feel kind of bad now. He's like, I just want to talk to my friend. <laughs> yeah, we're making progress. We're studying. All that cool stuff. But tomorrow... Well, then. It's the big day. What are we doing again? Oh, yeah, we got to sell the metal. Frick, I almost forgot. God dang it. Make sure to do the dishes. <sighs> Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, no, not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. Alright, today's the day we turn in that medal for cash. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right? Heck yeah, I do. Triple seven, here I come. Or maybe the other place. And was that the cat? Did I just imagine things? It's gone. That's effing scary. Anyways, yeah, we have to head over to Shibuya and tra wait, why can't I fast travel to it? That's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, if that dude ain't buying it, I don't know, triple seven will, so let's just cross our fingers and hope we can pawn this thing off. And there's a lot of people shopping on Golden Week. I guess that makes some sense. You guys Airsoft fans? So this is the place, huh? Looks like it. Let's just take care of this. Wait, we don't have a search warrant yet. Uh, just be patient. I'm sure we'll get one soon enough. And they'd never think about running off down this narrow alley. Something tells me these guys ain't into airsoft. They sound like more paintball kind of guys, if anything, but hey, it's me, your favorite customer that's only bought from this store twice, and what do you want? Uh. I need some money? Uh... Huh. Gold medal? Why do you have this? I don't buy any fake or stolen goods here, kid. But it's not hey. fake. Hey, hold on a sec. Let me see it. Okay. I'm just not gonna ask where you got this. That was 30,000 yen sound for it, though. That actually sounds great, since we basically got it for free. <laughs> 30,000 it is then. And that should just about cover our expenses for a celebration. Awesome. Thanks, man. It's almost time. Uh, time for what? Here, take this with you. It's thanks for selling me that metal. But, uh, best not to open it. Just bring it with you next time you come back here. Is it lunch? But if I don't open it, it's gonna go bad, Mr. EY. 
That's weird. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. They're here. What's going on? Oh, it's the paintball dudes. Monhisa Iwai, yes? There are some matters we'd like to discuss with you today. Oh, God. Go, kid. I'm trying, but they're blocking the door? Okay, they're not anymore. Works for me. Later. Do you know why we're here? <laughs> I don't know. Looking for evidence? <laughs> you tell me, Mr. Detective. What's your attitude? Watch my counter. Crap ain't free. Well, you guys gonna search me. Come on, do what you gotta do. What was that? An upstanding citizen supposed to cooperate with the cops. Right? Hey. You sure that lead was legitimate? I could have sworn it was. <laughs> Getting you too hurried up. I got a business to run here. A totally legitimate one. <laughs> you! Ugh. Hey, you! Oh, Bubba, me? What's in the bag, huh? Show me. Uh, I don't want to. This kid's just a regular customer. You can check the tapes if that'll convince you. I'll show everything that's gone down here today. Oh, crap. This is bad. I don't want to be here when the detectives see the footage of me with the gold medal. I gotta go. Crud. I won't let you get away that easy. Show us what's in the bag. Uh, my lunch, my business. G g uh, I don't know. What would you do in this situation? <laughs> I said, show it to me. Hey, you're talking to a kid, remember? Besides, he's not the one we're here to see. Yeah, so later. That's right, Mr. Detective. Maybe next time, try not harassing my customers. See how that goes. <laughs> See ya. Safe trip home, kid. Thanks. See you around, mister. What were those detectives doing there? More importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? Well, come on, let's open it up. A real gun? Wait, I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. I mean, it's perfect. Something this real-looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. It's getting a lot of coverage. Uh, I don't know. The reaction's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just surprised. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now. This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late. Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? All right. You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow. Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Ooh, tuna, sea urchin, and maybe even salmon roe. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> We're finally having the celebration tomorrow. I can't wait. 
Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But to have that celebration, I nearly got arrested. Feels bad. But, uh, hey, it's in the past. They don't know where I live. Your boy's got to hit the books, though. I mean, at the end of the day, we got to be a law-abiding citizen, right? If they don't, if I don't know my times tables, shoot, I can't make it in this world. And are you just picking the easy ones? Did he say that? I didn't see it, bro. I'm going in a straight line. I go problem one, problem two, problem three. I, I, sometimes I'm weird though. Sometimes I would take my like tests in reverse. Anyone else do that? I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird and quirky. <laughs> we already knew that though. Shoot. Mmm, <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady An chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... <gasps> this place has a time limit! Oh crap! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! God, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Oh, man! God melts in my mouth! Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake! Oh, happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. Beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. That's reassuring. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? And now we've arrived at a specific point in the game where you become Plate Joker. It's got a plate, and there's no food on it. We should probably try and fix that, huh? Ooh, look! There's the fish! I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great too. 
Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm? Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. <sighs> how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope you didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Plate Joker! He's got a plate! There's only fish on it. Let's get some. There's not any food that rhymes with plate. Okay, uh, let's get uh, this stuff. I didn't actually press the right button. <laughs> hey, we should try eavesdropping. Maybe going two sec like feet to the left and then pressing axle work. Okay, try it. <gasps> Rice is incredible. It's the cornerstone of every great meal. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Okay, we got our rice. And we also got the hot gossip in the city. About the Phantom Thieves. But we still need more. Oh, up close it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Whoa, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. I should not have recorded this video on an empty stomach. Oh, this looks so good. Uh. And all my friends got me were beans. What? What, what does that say about me? What the heck? Oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any. I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. 
We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Yeah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. It's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on. But it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. Ooh, you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? I was thinking that too, but take a bite! Using better ingredients makes stuff taste way different! <laughs> Look at you, acting like you have a refined palate all of a sudden. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... Mm. Knowing when we'll get to come here again! Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Oh, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. Oh yeah. This is a victory... for all of us. Now, not exactly. Good job, you guys! How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? <laughs> we don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? 
sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with him. guy shouldn't we head back down yeah but that dick really pissed me off he wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone don't lose your temper over this I just can't forgive shitty adults like that wrong that's just gonna make me worry more you know I bet it's because he rarely eats well I'm always stuck with canned cat food too yeah that sir bullshit makes me sick damn it what took you so long why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... The restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? But... that means we'll have to fight Shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. Alright, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But... Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I've got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. 
how about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilet? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Hell no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. So we have officially decided to continue operating as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. <laughs> Lots of plurals in there. And we spent all our money on the buffet, but we officially established the Phantom Thieves. So it was totally worth it. We could have done that for free. You know, I got Personas to fuse. <laughs> we get a little bit back though, so it's fine. And the Phantom Thieves, huh? Yeah, I'm liking the sound of that. <laughs> Hope we can really help people. I'm curious about the Phantom Thief Aficionado website, too. I wonder who made it. No clue. More importantly, you see the survey on there? I don't know how I feel about it. The, what do you mean? Yeah, there's this approval rating thing, but it was only like at 6%. That's really, really low, actually. But it makes sense. Yep. But don't you just want to make it higher than that? Easier said than done. I bet it'll go up tons if we keep taking down big targets. It's pretty dang exciting if you try and think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. 
Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. Yeah, there isn't a stop now. There's tons of people we can help and... Oh, snap! What's that? The Thieves' Den? The most coolest place ever? This is exclusive to P5R, and it's something I actually really, really enjoy. They put the time and energy into making. So, we'll probably see it at a later time. Just kidding. That later time is now. We're doing it. I can't hold back, yo. I love this place. It's so cool. The mask is a little scary, though. Look at it. He's mad. Now he's sad. And just, man, a little bit of consistency wouldn't hurt. But, ah, uh, look at it. It's amazing. I'm a big fan. I don't know if you can tell. There's movies. <laughs> Multiple screens. Hey, a painting. And chairs. We can play cards there. It's nice. It's our own little club. What the frick? Ah! Bro! Hmm. I really messed that up. I can't believe I mixed up the gas and the brake pedals. <laughs> uh, oh well. First I need to fix this up. Mm, I got some 2 by 4 <laughs> Doesn't look bad. That ought to do it. So. Okay. Uh, hi. So, do you need something from me? Were you drawn here by the smell too? Yeah. Sushi. Oh, oh sorry. I guess you just got here too, huh? I can definitely understand not knowing what's going on here. Don't worry. But you just got here too. Dang, he got some nice boots. I see. Hmm. I think I'm starting to get it though. So that's what this place is. Lua. Hey. Talk to me, bro. This is a place created by the cognitions of people like yourself. Your memories and feelings are collected here and given shape. So like a palace? Boy, I'm sure glad I came here now. I bet this place can teach me all sorts of things. Hey. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. You can take a look around too, if that interests you. Thanks, I'm just might. I'm curious to see more of the memories inside of you. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me. Help you out as much as I can. Doing good? Well, that should wrap it up. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. So yeah, this well, not necessarily your palace. Let's just use that name for the time being. It's the Thieves' Den. There's a lot of stuff you can do here, like watch movies, see some fancy pantsy art, and spend P medals, the most unfortunately named thing ever. They're seriously dripping. Yeah, medals. No, it's just, it's a cozy place. It's got multiple ceiling fans, and it's also outdoors. Bro, that's cool. This is cool. You can see all this artwork, which I just realized might be a potential spoiler. My but, you know, it's nice. Just that this stuff is, like, actually in-game now. I'm kind of a big Persona fan, if you haven't noticed. And uh, here's the main attraction, the Palace Maker. We can select various models and put them on display inside of the Thieves' Den. And... Certain characters will come up and comment on them, and the stuff they say, it's just royal. I was going to say golden, but that's another game. For example, if you want to look at disgusting Kamoshida and his like chest hair, you could do that. But my favorite thing of the Persona series, the Personas. Being able to view these models in 3D without the like summon effect on them that makes them kind of translucent. I love it. I love it a lot. Let's look at Arsene, and, uh, well, yeah, that's fine. I'm <laughs> not going to be too picky in the beginning. I don't know if we're going to show off every single model, but I definitely want to show off every single persona and just, you know, kind of talk about him a bit. Because, frankly, I have a lot to say. But, uh, yeah, Arsene, our first persona. It's thanks to that Joker awaken to his persona, isn't it, Ryuji? Uh, guess so, yeah. I was about to get killed by Kamoshida. But then I saw this bright light, and he awakened to save someone else. Wow, that perfectly lines with our code of justice. I knew he was just as I predicted. <laughs> there he goes again. So, yeah, you gotta hear some of your friends just talk about you. But they're not really your friends, they're like reflections, cognitive versions, who gives a dumb. Our son looks amazing, there's not much else to say, he's such a good when did I get that one? Okay. <laughs> what was I saying? It's a good representation of what Persona 5 is all about. Doing good. Well, technically doing things that aren't necessarily viewed as law. 
It's more of a chaotic good sort of deal. But uh, yeah, there's a lot to Thieves Den. I'm going to show it all off. It's going to take some time. But as we progress more and more into the story, we'll have little showcase segments. I think that'll be fun. And I hope you guys do too. But that's all the time I got for today, guys. Let's uh, end the episode off with this logo they felt was so great they had to frame it with the fattest frame in the world seriously that's some thick frame dude but uh <laughs> this has been a fun episode to make hope you enjoyed i'm starving to death so see you guys next time more persona 5 royal bye <laughs>